In this video, we are going to learn to compare different miners. In particular, I have these three silver miners. And there was silver, which looks like this. We have silver crest metals, looks like this. And silver cord metals. So how do we compare these miners? And we're going to make it a bit more complex. In previous videos, I have shown you how to create an NPV flowchart. That's the basis. You always start with an NPV flowchart. The next step is to uh, create a sensitivity analysis based on that NPV flowchart. So I'm going to show you um, how this is done. Uh, with Endeavor Silver. So as you know, we have created an MPV flowchart like this, where we have the enterprise value, how much revenue is coming in, costs, how the production evolves, what's the only sustaining costs, silver price, capex, interest rates, um, uh, interest payments and tax rates. And that is how you see how the cash flows are getting out and coming back in. Okay. And with this, we can create an EV to NPV ratio with a certain discount rate, in this case, 10%. So this tells you, this number tells you if this company is overvalued or undervalued. If the EV to NPV ratio is one, that means it's fair value. This company is overvalued currently at 23 silver because the EV is much higher than the NPV. Okay, of course, it depends on mine life extensions at all and all of that, but um, that's difficult to assess. Um, you need to do an estimate on that. Okay, so. How do we go about this? We are going to do a sensitivity analysis on the silver price. Um, for example, you put in 18 for this whole row, like this. And then you see that the EV to NPV turns to negative. You take this number and you put it here. Okay, for 18. And we do this for all the other silver prices. You can do this yourself. And then you get this set of numbers at these silver prices. Now we do the same with silver crest and silver cord medals. And then we have this table. Okay. Now we can calculate what the upside is based on the enterprise value. So you put the enterprise value in this table. So that's, that's this here, this number. Um, we calculate what the NPV is at these different silver prices. Okay. And we have the market cap as well uh, of these companies. The upside is dependent on what the market cap is, what the enterprise value is. So debt levels are important. So how do we calculate the upside? That's this formula, okay? So that's uh, the upside compared, yeah, based on market cap. So 0326 is the market cap and then here we just look at the percentage change uh, compared to this market cap and the percentage change is this number here and this number is actually how much the market cap should increase um, for the net present value to reach the enterprise value right just use this formula, okay? Um, for example, here, um, how much 
should the enterprise value drop to reach this NPV. Okay. And then we, we uh, check this against the market cap. Basically, that's the formula that we use here. Um, difficult to um, say how this formula is, but you just need to use it. Okay. Try to understand it. If a company has a lot of debt, then it will give more leverage because uh, yeah, the enterprise value and the NPV, this gap will uh, have more effect on the market cap if you have more debt. If you have less debt, then there is less upside. So just use this formula and then you get this set of numbers. Now, what is the conclusion here? Um, here you can see the EV to NPV in function of the silver price. So everyone should create this chart. This gives a lot of information in function of silver price. And you can see, for example, silver corp metals is actually pretty cheap because it's always below one. The EV to NPV below one means that it's cheap. Um, the silver Crest metals is going above one, around 25 silver. So here it's overvalued and here it's undervalued. So we do need uh, silver to get to 25 before silver crest becomes undervalued. Then we have endeavor silver. And here we also need 25 silver to get to undervaluation. And then the upside, you can see that the slope is actually the leverage. Um, silver Crest and Silver Corp, yeah, looks like they have the same leverage, but Silver Corp is much cheaper. You can see the upside here is at least 100% at 20 silver, while Silver Crest doesn't have any upside at 20 silver. So this chart already tells me that Silver Corp is a much better company than Silver Crest. And Endeavor Silver gives more leverage. You can see the slope is much steeper. Problem is at current silver prices, it has downside. So it's below zero. So that means Endeavor Silver has downside risk and needs at least 25 silver to have upside. If you go above zero, then you have upside. So this is a very great tool to compare different miners. And with this chart here, you can um, choose your mine depending on the silver price. You can also see which one is overvalued compared to the other. You can see how this exponential curve goes up. So at some point here, at 25, 24, Endeavor Silver is going exponentially up, which means um, you know, Endeavor Silver it will be um, loss making at some point, probably because of the low silver price as this goes exponentially. And you can see here also that that uh, upside is going negative. So that means that there is downside. 100% downside means um, yeah, that this company will go to zero. Okay, 100% downside is zero for this company. So Endeavor Silver, if if the silver price stays at 20 forever, then there's 100% downside for Endeavor Silver, and that's at a 10% discount rate. Of course, this chart is going to change at other discount rates. If it's at zero discount rate, then then of course um, the whole ch whole chart will shift upwards, more upside. But why do we take ten percent discount rate? Because yeah, you 
you could lend out your money uh, to someone for 10 percent so um, that's why we use a discount rate we do not need to buy silver miners uh, we buy them because we get more upside than lending it out for 10 percent so that's why we demand that there is a 10 percent dividend 10 percent uh, interest per year if you buy a silver miner. Uh, otherwise, we shouldn't be buying it because we can just lend it out to someone for 10%. You can, can also use 5%, 8%. It's how you want it. I always use 10%, especially now with higher interest rates coming. But yeah, so this is a great tool. Try to use it, try, try it yourself. Create an NPV uh, flowchart like this, then assign different prices to it, uh, different silver prices. And then you can create this table and eventually create this table using this formula. Okay, try it yourself and I think this will be of great help to you.